the altar room is finally finished. <laughs> Sometimes I forget what channel I am on, and you get that deeper raspier. Let's play your voice. Oh. <laughs> uh, there's only actually, I think, two people on this planet that like my voice, and I'm continually trying to deep it about two octaves so that I have a voice that sounds good for Let's Plays. That's neither here nor there. The altar room is finally finished. Praise the gods. It's finally been dedicated. Praise the gods. Uh, praise Loki. Uh, I thought I was going to lose Loki over that room. <laughs> uh, it was it was a lot uh, doing that room. As it, it should have been. Um, we were both doing a lot of work doing that room and um it's completely different than i thought it would be but that's not necessarily a bad thing and it, it is beautiful it is beautiful um i was absolutely tearing the house and the garage and everything else apart looking for finishing pieces today and he was doing that final push of inspiration for final pieces and um gods be praised you know it does it does look beautiful it's completely different than um what i had wanted but i think his point was that this was inside of me all this time and it's completely different than i thought it would look but it's, you know, it's extremely beautiful now, and, um, you know, knowing his sense of humor, his sharp sense of humor, the curtain may show up after all now that we actually don't want it, um, you, you know, he has multiple paths, and you can be working with one path, and the other path will decide, oh, well, um, now that you've given up on something, I'm going to actually give it to you, because I have a sense of humor like that. Now that I actually am okay, and I've given up on the curtain, and I'm like, all right, um, you know, I've actually learned the lesson he wanted me to learn, which was not the lesson I thought it was, because that's another thing he likes to do, to, um, sometimes mask a lesson within a lesson, um, it's complicated, and I think some is like some things I can tell you, and some things I can't. But it was, um, it it was complicated what I had to learn, and it it is beautiful. It's charming, and unfortunately, I don't have three thousand dollar camera that could uh, do it justice. It would have to be harsh and overlit, and it it would not look like anything. It looks its best by um, the candlelight and the rose lights and everything else and it looks extremely beautiful and I have the um, incense burner the metal incense burner and it just it looks beautiful it looks like a temple I mean you go in there and that's what you think you think temple you don't think anything else um, it, it did literally take a couple hundred hours of work on both our parts but it was worth it and it looks it looks beautiful and it came together because it was his will it came together it was uh I did the physical work, but it was him pushing me to see something he wanted me to see. So that was, you know, generous on his part. He didn't have to. Um, if Loki doesn't like you, he will straight up not work with you or he will uh, mess with you and then not work with you. So it, it was generous on his part that that came together. And now, like, the rest of the stuff could actually not come at all, and we'd both be content because it's it's truly, truly, truly done at this point. It's not like I'm saying it's done and then there will be one extra thing for us to do. It's truly, entirely done at this point. And it's just, it's, um, it is, it's beautiful at this point, and it's, we're both serene at this point, and, um, I don't mind the expense now because he, the expense had to come, and it's not like, um, mm, that I'm like saying money's only money. In a way, money is only money, but it's like, it, sometimes it's, you do literally have to make a sacrifice to the gods. We're not, 
working with the Northern Pantheon, we don't have the Greek outlook of, um, in the Greek outlook, humans are it. Humans are the center of the universe. Uh, and the Greek gods are almost there as a backdrop, if you will. No offense to you if you work with the Greek gods. I know people treat them differently now, but if you look at the traditional stories, um, the Greek gods are treated very differently than um, we treat our northern pantheon with a uh, northern pantheon. <laughs> oh, no, that is not going to happen. Especially if you work with Loki. Um, <laughs> uh, he, he, prince would be a lovely term to use with him. Um, and um, I know a lot of people probably skip the other video thinking that I said something horrible about him. And I didn't because that is as valid a path as any. And it's like... Um, you know, he does come off as royalty. Um, in, not in that sort of Greek way where I've, um, no offense, I've never cared for the Greek gods. I've just, I've never gotten along with them. I've never liked their energy. Um, there's just, they're, they seem too haughty and remote towards humans. And, well, I would be too if people treated me the way they're treated by their, traditionally have been treated by their people. But um, with Loki, it's entirely different. He will be very hands-on. He will be your teacher. But at the same time, um, it's a very uh, complicated relationship you have with him. He will be your teacher, but there's going to be certain things you're going to have to give up to him when, you, when he's your teacher. And uh, I think that's what this experience for me was about there were certain things I had to give up which was um if you were following me on Facebook uh, somebody said that sounds horrible because we, we we were having very loud discussions about this and that, that's what it was about there were certain things I had to give up and it, it wasn't anything horrible people hear about sacrifice in pagan religion they're like that's horrible but um there is a reason for sacrifice, and it's usually it's for your betterment. It's not, it's not a bad thing. It's usually good for you. Um, a lot of people think Loki is a terrible god to serve, especially to have to sacrifice to. And usually what he asks you to sacrifice is for your betterment. I've never had him ask me to sacrifice anything um, I needed. He'll ask you to sacrifice something you don't need. Uh, you think you need it, but you don't need it. It's actually something that's harmful to you. Though, he could use perhaps more tact when he asks. <laughs> but, um, yes, um, the room is done, praise Loki, and uh, it looks extremely beautiful, as I'm sure he knew it would, and the lesson is learned. And I'm just... Um, I'm serene right now, and he's serene, and the listeners learn, and we're fine. We're not, there's, as I said before, there's no God divorce. We're fine, and we're together. We're, we're happy. Um, no one is throwing anything at anyone. Nothing exploded. Nothing caught on fire. <laughs> um, no one is hurt. Um, uh, stupidly, I had my energizer light, and I was looking out in the garage for something, and I forgot that is also one of those stupid um, lights to have if you're getting raped by someone, and uh, it makes a really loud siren, and neither of us knew that, and um, unfortunately, I went to take the flashlight out of my pocket, and the uh, key ring st stayed in my pocket, and the flashlight came off out, and that scared the devil out of both of us, but other than that... I mean, that was like one last final complication of the altar room, but other than that, and we both actually got a good laugh out of that because it was like one final thing to happen, but, um, you know, other than that, we're, we're good, um, and both our hearts work, <laughs> it, 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 it's loud, I have no idea why it was designed so poorly because it's designed to hold your keys, but you can actually pull this pin out of this. It's, it's so incredibly easy to pull the pin out of this thing. <laughs> and it's loud. It's in the neighborhood dog's office. What happened? 
<laughs> I couldn't figure out how to get the pin back in. Oh, it's funny now, but it wasn't funny at the time. <laughs> oh my god, my heart uh, stopped. But, um, yeah, we are fine. And he got some lovelies yesterday. And, um, everything is done. And he thanked me today. I found a snake shed when I was out there. I did not find what I want, but I found a snake shed of over a yard long. So I know he is happy because he loves his snake sheds. He loves his snake skin. So that is up on his altar in there as well. And it just looks beautiful, but it doesn't, it's not going to come off well on camera, and I know it's not, so I'm, I'm not going to take the camera in there. But it, it does look beautiful, and um, I'm just, I'm happy it's done, and I'm happy it came out as beautiful as it did, and it looks, it does look glamorous, it does, but in a very different way than I thought it would, and um... I don't know, have you ever seen something so pretty you want to cry over it? But I don't think it would come off that way on camera, I really don't, because you know I have that cheap camera and it does not, it's not going to come off well on camera, I know it won't. It's, it, to, to any of you, it's not going to look different because it's not going to have that emotional component for you and it's just, it's going to be one more of a million makeovers that you've seen on YouTube, so it's something I'll keep private, I think. Um, so yeah, but I'm happy it's done, and I'm happy he's accepted it, and um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how often I'll be making videos. I know he wants the channel open, and I'm serene now because we, we had some work to do, um, and we, we got it done, and, and I'm serene. Part of that was coming off the effects, or part of it was something else. And um, But I'm not sure how often I'll make videos, um, but um, I think I'll make them this way from now on. I'm a lot more relaxed if I don't have a camera on me. I actually I don't like having a camera on me. I never have. I finally have the people on my main channel trained to not ask me for uh, live streams because I don't like them. I've just never liked being in front of a camera. I never have. I'm a photographer. I like being behind the lens. I don't like being uh, in front of the in front of the lens. It's just it's just something I don't like. I don't care for it. Okay, so if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. I, I feel so stupid and wrong saying that on this channel. It just, it feels artificial. But, you know, I, it, it, it isn't, I hate saying that because it feels wrong to say that after a Loki video. But, you know, whatever. Um, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.